What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now in this video it's going to be your Cassie Mendoza vendor reset for Wednesday, April 7th. But first, before you can get to Cassie Mendoza, you have to find the snitch. So for my game, I found the snitch do 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 just east of the mast control point. So this is the location for the snitch for me today. It is different for everybody, and if you log out, log back in, it'll also move the snitch. So if you cannot find the snitch in this location, let me know in the comment section below where you have found the snitch. That'll not only help out, you know, other people that are watching this video, but that'll probably, you know, help out a lot of people for the future. But all right, so talk to the snitch. You do not have to pick up the bounty. And you can see it says gun runner location revealed. So let's see where she's at. Uh, da -da -ba -ba. You have to look for the white shopping cart. There we go. Icon. All right. And it says the vendor is open. So we're going to fast travel over to Air and Space Museum and see what she's got. Now I am on a Xbox One X. So the load time might not be as fast as uh, the next gen console. But anyways, let me know uh, Let me know what you guys think of the Division 2. I know Outriders has been out for about a week now and uh, I have heard no news or information from the Division 2. It kinda just sounds like they want Outriders to uh, you know, be top of the news. Look at that. Was that an invisible wall? Look at this. Invisible wall. Look at that. Wow, that was insane. What is that? Hold on, that's an invisible wall. What? Look at that! Oh my gosh! All right, so I found an invisible wall randomly. But to see Cassie Mendoza, you need to go down the stairs and open up this door. It will not show you open the door unless you are right up on top of it. So you would not really know. You need to get up on top of it. It'll show open door, and you're good to go. All right, Cassie, let's see what you've got for me. All right, here we go. Cassie Mendoza Vendor Reset. First up are the named items, starting with the safety distance. This is your named SIG MPX with Perfect Outsider. Now, Perfect Outsider, after killing an enemy, you will gain 125% optimal range and 125 percent accuracy and that's after a kill now i've seen multiple videos from my buddy i am fox about this weapon and certain builds you can laser beam people with this weapon uh, as soon as you get this perfect outsider to proc now as far as the attributes they're pretty low and it comes with stability as well so I'd probably roll off stability and then optimize the rest. Next up, Caesar's Guard. This is your named Empress International chess piece. And it comes with perfectly skilled. So skills, uh, skill kills will have a 30% chance to reset your skill cooldown. That's really good. And the 30% feels more like 50%. If I'm going to be honest, because usually it's like every other time you'll get this thing to proc. Now, as far as the attributes, they're not that great. You have health and hazard protection, so I probably would not pick it up. All right, we have the shield splinter. This is your named F2000 assault rifle with perfect optimist. Now, disclaimer. The only way to get this weapon, and a lot of you do this in the comments and you don't listen to my video, a lot of you will not see this weapon unless you kill all of the year one hunters, collect all of the ivory keys, and open up the ivory chest that's in the base of ops in Washington, D.C. It's the only way to get this weapon to show up. So once you open it up out of that box, Cassie Mendoza will start to sell it every single week. So if you are not seeing the shield splinter, that is why. Now back to the weapon. This one comes with reload speed. 
and some pretty low attributes, so I probably would not pick this one up. Next up is the Hunter Killer chess piece. Again, a lot of you keep showing up in my comments. This one, the only way to get the Hunter Killer chess piece is to kill all of the year two hunters. So all of the hunters that are attached to Warlords of New York, you have to hunt them down, kill all of them, and you have to collect all of the off-white keys, and then you have to open up the off-white chest that is in the Haven base of ops in New York City. So that's the only way to get this chest piece as well. I highly recommend you get this chest piece because in my opinion, it's the most powerful chess piece in the game. Reason being is it comes with perfect intimidate. Now that's 40% amplified damage. And that is in PvP and PvE. 40% amplified damage is a lot. So just letting you know. Now as far as attributes here, we have 144k armor, 9.2 hazard, and then some skill haste. Um, I probably would not pick this one up, but it is what it is. So those are your named items. Safety Distance, Caesar's Guard, uh, Shield Splinter, and the Hunter Killer. All right, let's move on to the gear set items. All right, we have a Aces and Eights backpack with crit damage. That's not horrible, especially for you snipers out there. Um, having crit damage, crit chance, or headshot damage is usually the best way to go for sniper builds. Strikers, battle gear, chest piece with armor regen. Uh, no thank you. Hardwired gloves with skill haste. That's not horrible. Rigor knee pads with skill damage. Again, not horrible. Future initiative. Holster with repair skills. See, that's not bad because now you can reroll the skill tier off if you want to do that and make some sort of healer hybrid and you could keep the repair skills on there. I mean, that's not the worst. All right, rigor mask with crit chance. That one's interesting. Now, as far as the gear set items are concerned, I probably would only look at the future initiative holster for you healer builds out there. The rigor with skill damage isn't bad, and the hardwired gloves with skill haste isn't bad. Same with the Aces and Eights backpack, but me personally, I probably wouldn't pick up any of those. All right, high end items Black Market M60 with max LMG damage. The talent's not that great, and neither is the crit chance attribute. But you do have the max LMG damage there, so you can use that for your recalibration library. Or you can, you know, switch off the talent. But with crit chance on an M60, I, I would not pick it up. Alright, custom M44 with max... What? Marksman rifle damage. What's up with these max damages? Alright. It also comes with vindictive and reload speed. Not, not the best but you do have max marksman rifle damage there so again if you need it for the recalibration library come pick it up at cassie mendoza alp summit backpack with protector skill haste and crit damage now protector what is that when your shield is damaged you gain five percent bonus armor and all your allies gain okay um i would not pick up that backpack and a raldi holdings holster with max skill damage and explosive resistance. Um, again, that's a really weird rainbow roll here. I wouldn't pick it up. All right, so as far as your high-end items, um, you have max LMG damage and max marksman rifle damage there, but that's about it. All right, let's finish off with the two mods. You have a burn resistance mod of 8.9 and a drone duration mod of 6.7 so overall casting mendoza seems to be a bit of a bust in my opinion but obviously there are some attributes here that you could use for your recalibration library so if you are new or returning i would definitely pick those up that way you can uh, put them in your recalibration library
And yeah, that's it. You have five days and 18 hours to get this stuff. Um, there's really nothing too crazy. So I'm not going to have some sort of, you know, buy this now. Because there's really nothing to really buy right now from her. Um, I mean, even the safety distance with stability. I mean, uh, you could just turn it into an insane laser beam of a weapon. But I don't know. I'm not sold let me know in the comment section below what you think. This is your Cassie Mendoza Vendor Reset for Wednesday, April 7th. Hope you enjoyed the video. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.